voted against it, but I was intrigued by the, the five dollars or the five hundred minutes with a verifiable database. What I don't understand is how the database works. So I have a motion that, that I've worked with staff on, and I'm not prepared to offer it today. I think that the problem is is that we're looking at a situation where with leadership changes in the uh, DHS department, CHR, sorry, that um, we don't know what the word database means. And, and finding one in one of my, my basis, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I'm kind of is that it says the, the, the potential drawback of allowing the use of a DHS database database would only cover four of the nine eligibility criteria, so companies would still be forced to charge five or provide 500 minutes to customers that attempt to qualify under the five criteria that are not covered by the DHS database. I think this would be confusing to both the companies and the customers. There's just too many variables. But I think that it's something that I could embrace with a database that is verifiable that gives some real flexibility, that it doesn't hurt the people that would be most hurt by uh, the rule that's proposed, where it's, it's $5. Um, I think that uh, it's something that, that merits some continued understanding of, of what the, the database will do. It might be incumbent on some of these uh, ETC providers uh, to, to, to work across the street with the department, with the governor, if you have uh, the wherewithal to do that to clean that up. So, uh, and I also know that, that I'm one of the ones that said this is a, a, a rule that seems to have no end, that it has just a, a, an ongoing target. And, uh, and I guess what I'm proposing, and, and I'll abide by the, the wishes of the commission. I'm not, it's not a hard, uh, fast rule to, to ask for a hold, an indefinite hold, until we get some input back on the database. But if my colleagues would agree and approve, then I would ask for a further hold on this was so that we could get some feedback, some understanding of what database, and if we would be able to provide the criteria that we would need so that the database verification would be on. So I guess I, I show you my motion, I show you some of the logic behind it, uh, and, and the concerns that I have, and that, uh, that if you agree that an indefinite hold with the commission asking for this to be brought back when we have a database Commissioner Wise, just for clarification, your ask right now on the table is to uh, vote on an indefinite hold. I, I, I just I would ask for you to honor it, but if, if any of my colleagues, majority of my colleagues, would prefer to go ahead and vote on the rules proposed, then uh, then, then I think that's up to y'all, and, and, and I, I'm not, not asking for a hard hold. I just think that I'd like an indefinite hold until we have some verifiable database so that, that, that I believe that this commission could support the five, 500 with a verifiable database. Mr. Chairman, are you uh, going to ask if there's objection to the commission's yeah, That's just what I was going to, I was going to start with that and see if there's an objection to the indefinite hold and we can work from there. I have a question for Mr. Reinhardt. Uh, if we adapt, adapt, adopt staff's recommendation,